Hello, it's Australia with a reading for the collective. Picking up on, I was picking up on really, really, really weird energy and I just threw some cards. And so I'm like in the very beginnings of trying to clarify it. So I thought I would um, pick you up where, where I've left off. <clears throat> so let me explain what I'm seeing so far and I'll clarify with with the um, video. So the issue is a two of cups and six of swords. I don't know where this energy is coming from though yet. Two of cups and six of swords, some like soulmate partnership moving on towards calmer water. So this could be someone moving away from this partnership, literally moving even. And then this queen of cups, so it definitely has to do with you. So this like soulmate partnership with you. I don't know if this is someone who wants this to happen, but the challenge for them is a eight of swords and the magician. So they're in their head about not being able to manifest. And then I got justice clarifying that. In the subconscious, we have three of cups. So that could be celebration or a third party situation or like a group of people who are like something not great with them because we've got also this death in reverse. So not wanting something to end or like a prolonged ending or stagnation. In the recent past, we have, I don't think you can see that. Three of Swords clarified by Knight of Swords. So it's almost like someone doing something really hasty in regards to this, something that's being built. This person is thinking that there's going to be a tower and it's going to have to do with some equal give and take, some power exchange, what's fair. It could be also someone's like, this person, this person could have status to be able to give away money like that. Um, they appear to, or someone's receiving something. So it's going to be a big tower. Things might become fair. And this person is having problems because they're receiving justice. Could be because they were trying to get someone stuck in there, stuck. They're trying to trap someone by manipulation. And this person feels like if this person now moves on, they can't manipulate them, maybe. And they're gonna have to see them see you because you're right here queen of cups get what you deserve and then in the near future we've got king of wands the lover so a masculine energy making a choice in love or a contract and it has to do with this queen of wands well i already clarified i already pulled the queen of cups out so i still feel like that's just another aspect of you this is like the more intuitive um nature of you, the, the emotional, emotionally sensitive, even, intuitive, kind. This is your more confident version of yourself, creative, confident. Um, so it's you again. It's like this knight of wands comes towards you. We've got the helicopters. It was very, very quiet until I turned on the camera. Okay. And then we've got this four of wands that they're thinking about, which is like this milestone or union or celebration or um, something to celebrate, but it's also like four of wands. So it's like the 1111 card. It's like union and also a place that is like, provides the right inspirational structure to be able to manifest. This is like home, home sweet home. It's celebratory. And this person is just really like, thinking about it a lot about this option this could be either working up the courage or they are kind of knocked out because they know that this four of wands that's what they're focused on it looks like the king of cups four of pentacles like someone's jealous of this four of pentacles or this king of cups is is holding back but they also might be kind of happy at the moment 
or something's been illuminated in regards to this king of cups that someone's trying to hold on to them or they might have found a pathway and that's why they're happy and there's jealousy around them we've got five of cups here so this person is grieving they they, they don't want to deal with these feelings and are hoping for with this three of wands five of cups that's the sadness three of wands they were waiting for their ships to come in or something like that they had some plans they were waiting for and they're not coming in or they're worried their plans aren't going to come in something's not going to come to fruition here the outcome is two of swords so a stalemate or stuck in their head or not wanting to see the truth clarified by two of pentacles so feeling uh, like they're tr they need to get balance with something but it seems like they're going to have a hard time with, with trying to get... It's like an imbalance. They're trying to realign, but there's some sort of stalemate. And they get stuck that way. In the bottom of the deck, we've got Seven of Pentacles. And Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Look at that. Three of Cups, too. So this definitely has to do with this group. So it's like somebody is has planted the seeds. They've patiently planted the seeds. And they're taking a step back to see what they've created and um it has to do with either like a new beginning or this very strong emotional um like love strong emotions of love uh self-love um it can be that too like a rush of emotions uh, um the beginnings of something here someone's planting the seeds and so now i have to figure out what where this energy is coming from because it's very unnerving it's interesting because i'm uploading right now a uh, summer solstice read for the collective and I, I almost feel like the energy this is like a continuation of that but i, I want to actually to see what it actually is okay so who is this please okay we've got someone who acts as if they are a guide but this but rather they place financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight so it's like they tried to guide people but that they might even act spiritual but they're addic they have addictions, so they compromise their integrity and honesty, and they allow addictive patterns to have authority over their inner spirit. So it's like they kind of want to be their controlling person who controls, uh, is addicted to an addictive pattern, or they they're privy to an addictive pattern. Okay. It's like they want to be the hero. Ah, oh, they might be an artist. Child divine. I'm going to take the, um, I think this has to do with you. They're dealing with a divine, like a chosen one energy. And they haven't been able to, they can't manipulate you because an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So the reason why you might not be able to isn't because you can't, but if you don't, you don't operate in that energy. So if someone's dishing this stuff out at you, you know, you transmute it or do whatever you want, but you don't fight the same way that they do. So it's not so much that you can't defend yourself but it's easier to create the negative energy and and disturb someone than it is for someone in an environment. Say there are two people and one wants to disturb the environment. The one who wants to disturb the environment can create that disturbance while the one that is quietly keeping the peace isn't doing anything to the one that wants to create the disturbance. So in the short term, that's what I think that this means. It's like disruptive energy. 
And so this person creates disruptive energy. There might be something about them that is attracted to you as a healer. Um, but I think that they also take, they take advantage of people that um, need help or that... Okay, and then inability to commit to a path once found. So this could be someone... What I'm actually getting from this... Okay. Wow. Shapeshifter and then vampire one to come out. So this is someone who changes who they are depending on where they're at. Projecting any image that serves your personal agenda at the moment. Vampire, depleting others for your psychic survival. Chronic complaining and codependency. Okay. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. It's like no one can tell them anything. Femme fatales also wanting to come out. Okay, so we've got a feminine karmic energy that is very focused on you. There's an addictive pattern. This person might be someone that you've built something with or tried to build something with in the past. This person... What I get is that... This is a karmic feminine energy or a distorted feminine who is focused on you, obviously, Queen of Cups, moving on. Or they're trying to force you energetically to move on from something. They don't want you to have this Two of Cups. What? Why? I don't feel like this is connected to your, your DM. It could be. But I think this has to do with, like, this is like that bully, frenemy, copycat energy. I really think that. So let's keep going. It's really strong. I think that, I think this is like, this just feel, this is, yeah, it feels really toxic. It's like this person, this is an addictive pattern. This is an addictive pattern. This is what they do. This like, it's not working. They feel, they're like in spiritual jail here from what they've done. Yeah. Experiencing justice. This person is experiencing justice from... So what is this? Is this this person trying to stop the signs? Hmm. They're seeing the signs that you are moving towards the Two of Cups. You are... This person's thinking about, they can't stop thinking about you. They're triggered. They're in a mental prison, which makes sense with this Eight of Swords. They're in a mental prison, overthinking, and they're triggered by you. They feel like they're getting some kind of signs that you are moving on towards calmer waters potentially creating a two of cups some soulmate towards a soulmate connection which could be business or romance so whoever this um kind of copycat energy that's trying to block you that's overly focused like stalker energy here whoever this is they're they're triggered by these like some kind of signs that they feel like they're getting that yeah you're gonna get some sort of like marriage proposal love business offer or some kind of engagement they're focused on your and maybe they i don't know maybe they do tarot or they follow you on social media or they just maybe they i don't know what what kind of signs they're seeing but they're very triggered by you 
because you're moving on. It feels like things are going to work out for you. You're moving on to, to, they wanted to keep you in this disruptive energy. They might have been manipulating something with this magician card, Eight of Swords. They were focusing all of their energy on it, but now they're receiving justice. Wow, that's deep. Okay, mirroring, looking at them as if they are you. So they're receiving justice for copycatting, trying to stop you and become you. I wouldn't think about it too deeply because it's not something that, if you don't do this, it's hard to make the leap as why someone would want to manipulate someone and become them. It's, you know, Betrayal, deception, dishonesty, cheating. This is in their subconscious. There was a group of them that were trying to stop you. They were trying to make something last and last and last and last. This karmic energy had a group. They were they were trying they were trying to cheat you out of something, or they were cheating you. They were doing something dishonest, or whatever it is, and. That's in this person's subconscious, so they know what they did. But why is that in their subconscious? I'm getting something about something happening, though. Like, this is how this person is feeling, but they're receiving justice. Look at them as if they are you. trying to be you somehow. I I don't know. I don't know how they make the leap. But then it's like manipulate you from being able to move on. It's it's so hard to understand what how someone Knight of Swords complicated, not seeing clearly. They did something hasty in the recent past in regards to a network, your network or something you were building. So now the tower. Some sort of communication. Or you could be dealing with an air sign. Or have prominent air in your chart. Or they do. There's going to be a tower. They feel like they're going to get receive some sort of... Or they're going to try to create a tower. Can I get one more? Moving forward. Leaving behind what doesn't serve you. That's the Six of Swords. You're moving on. You're going to get what you deserve. They know and they feel like they're going to lose it. They're going to lose it because they can't manipulate you. And you're moving on. In the near future, cosmic gift that's coming to you. Blessings. Connected to like a King of Wands. The Lovers. That's you. That's you, I feel like, in business or creative, creatively or your confidence. Just really glowing and wonderful that some gift is coming to you. Some sort of gift is coming to you. I think also you've been taking action. It's not just that you are receiving a blessing. I mean, you are, and there's gratitude for that, but you also did the work. You put in the work, and something good is coming towards you. open door four of wands they're thinking about what they could have had with you they feel like they sabotaged themselves there's a part of them some of them some of them in a strange way are attracted to you as well even though this was a friendship and you don't see them that way there's some attraction from in some cases not everyone but Some sort of unexpected shocking news happening in this person's environment or something they're aware of that's in your environment in regards to a king of cups some sort of shocking news competition they don't they're they 
they started competing with you. And now they're feeling sorry for themselves. Like, it's almost like they, because they lost. Because when they're wondering when their ships are going to come in. But you were really nice to this person. You're a queen of cups. And so you would have probably done anything for them before they betrayed you. But then they got into this weird mirroring stuff and this energy manipulation. And there's just obviously no way with this betrayal, deception, and however many of them that were, were trying to stagnate you. They really are trying. I feel what, what I feel like is happening right now is like they're really trying though. They're receiving this justice. They're trying to mirror you in some weird way. What is this? It's so weird. The energy is so weird. Eight of Swords. It's really like this person. There's like, I'm sorry. There's something wrong with this person. Well, out, outcome, twin flame, or divine connection. So wherever you're heading, if you're building a partnership with someone or something like that, things are going to get very solid for you and the outcome of this. And this person's just going to be left juggling and they're, they're, they're not going to be able to, they're going to be so far out away from you. Um, oops. They're going to be really far away from you. They might be trying to get in your dream state as well. I do have to say with this, you can see this person with the seven of pentacles. It looks like they're actively, I just feel like this looks very much like somebody who is like doing something at trying to play with energy somehow. And this is what's on the bottom of the deck here. And this is their challenge. So their emotion, they're stuck. All they can do It's almost like they can't see your side. It's like a hall of mirrors inside their brain. They can't see your side. That's why they're mirroring. So whatever it is that happens good for you, they feel like it should be them. Because that's why this person is blindfolded though. Look, look how crazy this is. And Eight of Swords doesn't usually have a mirror. Oh gosh, I wonder if they're using some kind of weird mirror magic. Look at that, there's a mirror there and a mirror here. I just got the worst chills down my arms. Okay, I think I zeroed in on what's happening here. So they're, this person is definitely trying to do some kind of like manipulation of energies. Trying to reverse justice or something. That's what I was picking up on. They could be playing with little like plants or something like that too. And what they're trying to... affect is your self-love or this new beginning for you. And there might be more than one. Because that's, that's, that's how they get their strength. Because you're too strong for them. And you have this star the star energy and you're also a a high priestess with help and they can't stop what's what's coming for you and they cannot stop your downloads and your intuition and your inspiration and your passion and judgment judgment is here judgment day is here for them and so that they might be trying to play with manipulation, but if you're just feeling something a little funny, um, something just feels off, this could be what it is. This person could be trying, They're, they could be doing it by themselves. Obviously you can see, obviously you can see this, it doesn't lead anywhere for them, but um, this is what they're, they're up to. I mean, a lot of good things are coming your way. Uh, this is the energy though. That's what it is. If you're if you're feeling that that this confirmation. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye.